In the world of old BMWs, there's a range of the cars that you will come across as an enthusiast like myself. And that can range from the parts cars, the cars that are on their last leg, to the av everyday average driver's cars, to the higher end, nice condition, well-kept cars. And then at the top of that pyramid, you have a very rare, a, a type of BMW that you may never experience in your life. But if you're lucky enough and the time is right and things come together properly, you will come across the top tier. And that is the all original, never been outside of a garage, low mile, always cared for and loved old BMW. And that is what I'm happy to show you guys today. This thing is my 325i 1990 E30 convertible, five speed manual, brilliant wrought exterior, black interior. And let me just tell you guys, this is probably among one of the nicest cars I've ever featured on this channel. This car was a dream to find. This car is a dream in of itself to find an E30 that has not yet been destroyed or just neglected. This thing is really cool. It has a very cool story and I'm excited to show you guys around this thing. So the story, the quick story behind this car is it was owned by a woman in Montana and her husband. Well, actually started in California. I got it from the original owners. Uh, she reached out to us because we have a listing out in Montana where my dad lives about buying old BMWs and stuff because that's what I do. So she reached out to us and said, hey, my husband's convertible is sitting in my garage. I would like the space. I'm looking to get rid of it. I said, I told my dad, get some pictures, get some information. He relayed that information to me and I said, get your ass there now and pick that thing up. Because once I heard the details and saw the picture of this car, I knew I had to bring it home. So this thing is a 72,000 mile, five speed E30 convertible. Never been outside of a garage, never in the rain, never in the snow. It went California to Montana, always garage kept. And the condition shows you what you need to know about that. Um, so yeah, I had my dad run and grab it. We shipped it here and now it is here at the compound. And uh, I've been enjoying this thing for the past couple of weeks. I haven't really uh, been featuring it much, but I figured it's overdue to show you guys around this beautiful car. Um, this is one of those cars that I will never modify. You won't see me doing anything crazy to it because that's just not what I would do to this kind of car. It is far too clean. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring you guys in and let's take a look around this beautiful E30. All right, so let's take a look at this beauty. So as I said, brilliant red, which is bright red, a classic E30 color with a black interior. And actually the car's kind of dirty right now. I didn't get the chance to clean it yet. So there's cotton wood from the trees on the soft top, which makes it look a little crustier than it is. But just let's just take a look at this paint. Take a look at the, the trim, the rubber. Oh, we got some foam hanging out here that I accidentally washed away. I mean, this thing... It's a little dirty, like I said, I've been washing the engine base, so we got some water residue, water spots, but I mean, this car shines like the day it did when it was brand new. The guy, as she explained her husband, this was his baby. He hand washed it, waxed it. I'm literally finding wax residue in some of the crevices still because of all the hand waxing that he did. Like you can see around the corner light here, there's white wax residue. This car has never seen snow or winter. The underside tells you everything you need to know. Not a speck of rust. And I know a lot of people like to say rust free and it's got spot rust. When I mean like not a speck, I mean not a speck. Not even surface rust on the pinch welds. Like look at this thing. I know the lighting's not good. I don't have a lift to really show you guys underneath, but it is like factory fresh. Look at that differential. Like have you ever seen a diff that clean? Have you ever seen a muffler that clean? It is insanely beautiful on the outside. And guess what's even better? The inside is just as clean. So take a step into E30 convertible heaven. E30 convertibles all came with sports seats, I think, which is really cool. And this might be something you guys have never seen before. Or if you're lucky, you have. A crack-free E30 dash. I've never seen one of those. These are the dashes out of all the old BMWs that crack the easiest, you know, next to the E28s and the E24s. 
not a single crack on this bad boy not a not really any wear or anything on the interior at all the driver's seat's got a tiny bit but like nothing major this passenger seat looks like brand new center console there's the driver's seat you can see a little bolster wear that can literally just be re-dyed and it's good to go the four spoke wheel since it's a later model car you see that odometer right there 72,700 and what 13 miles and no the odometer's not stopped that odometer works perfectly good ticks over every time so all original miles the back seat may have never been sat in soft top looks like brand new as I said there's some a lot of cotton on it but uh, soft top is in immaculate condition I mean like even the door jams like still has got the zinc on it heated seats winter package it's got a 3.07 LSD is what I believe it is um, this thing is just beautiful the trunk has a car cover in it and some floor mats but I mean it is just immaculate the toolkit I believe it's full I don't know why it wouldn't be yeah full toolkit except for whatever that was which a spare bulb maybe but you have just everything on this car is clean I'm not gonna put down the top I don't care to put myself through that work right now plus when we drive it I'll leave the top up so that you guys can hear me um, I mean just an absolute beautiful beautiful car I'll pop the engine bay and I actually have been working in here I did a valve cover gasket and the this is one of those cars where the factory Cosmoline was not taken off on delivery so this is one of those overly Cosmoline cars so that's what the yellow is on the valve cover or on the intake manifold and the valve cover was even worse so I actually went over there and refinished the valve cover when I did the gasket so I painted that and basically what a factory silver would look like so I know it might be a little goofy because they contrast but to take the manifold off and paint it's not even worth it but like even the, the plastics in here shine like look how clean this engine bay is you could eat off of it the M20 B25 runs fantastic shifts fantastic but we'll talk about that when we drive this thing but it is insane how this thing like how it's even how it sounds like I'll let you guys hear it right now like you don't even realize when you own some of these cars and they have so many different mileages on them like what a like a factory low mileage car sounds like and I mean it purrs Like I've never heard or seen an M20, I almost said M30, that is this smooth and this quiet. Like it doesn't even vibrate. It is the happiest little engine. I mean it is, it's it's crazy, you know. Timing belt service, 68,000 miles, which happened to be in 2002. 68K in 2002, it's at 72,000 now in 2023. So over 20 years and the car's done not even 5,000 miles essentially um, which is is crazy and I, I know as I've said before these cars don't like to sit this is just happens to be one of those cars that actually tolerated sitting she actually got a lot of maintenance done to it from sitting the fuel tank got all messed up so the tanks brand new the pumps brand new and all that stuff I have service records from day one to now every single service record on the car um, it is an awesome awesome car not only all this but it actually came with a factory hardtop still in the packaging yes not in the original packaging but wrapped up basically never used I put it on to transport the car but I've since taken it off because I don't care to drive this as a coupe I mean I have coupes to do that uh, I want to drive it with the top down so I've been enjoying it with some top down driving when I go take it out but factory hardtop the whole package which is just insane um, I, I don't even like this is one of those cars that kind of leaves you speechless it's just so beautiful uh, I know what you guys are thinking when I told you that timing belt was done in 02 oh the timing belt needs to be done ASAP I actually put my phone in there and got a look at that timing belt I don't have any records of it being done since but looking at it it looks perfect like no cracks like it, it almost looks like new I mean it's got hardly any miles on it but I think time is a factor as well on a, on a rubber belt 
but it looks good so for now it's staying cooling system was done once upon a time I, every, I have service records of everything like it is not only a car that sat for a long time but even though it sat it was maintained like the tires are brand new like she would take it every once in a while and go get it checked up even though she wasn't driving it inside the car everything is just beautiful the windows are quick the switches and controls are crispy like everything feels good everything works original radio which is crazy i don't want to get copyrighted but it has actually like a touch screen adjustment for like um bass treble adjusting which i've never seen never knew that was a thing um some radio stuff in there it came with all the original paperwork this car the driving experience it gives you is just crazy i mean it feels like what i'd imagine a showroom car felt like off the factory floor like it imagines why i feel like this car felt like new the steering is tight it is nimble nothing shakes nothing vibrates nothing feels out of order the clutch feels insane it shifts like butter it it, it literally just feels like a true bmw driving machine the suspension is tight the suspension isn't blown out and doesn't feel horrible like it, it is perfect I replaced the front upper not upper the front controller and bushings because the original ones were showing a lot of signs of wear so I replaced those so it's got new controller and bushings and it feels fantastic the car drives amazing it didn't even drive bad before but it was a little shaky so I took care of that <clears throat> tires are old they've been sitting but they are a good brand and a lot of tread um, all the creature comforts work it's just one of those things like you don't have to worry about things not working because it's just such a good condition low mileage that everything just works but let me still say something it's still an e30 and you know what that means if you watch my videos on the e30s i've owned in the past just because it's a cheapest entry level bmw they're just they're just tin canny you know like the, a lot of stuff rattles and creaks and well, that's just a lot of old BMWs, the leather creaks, and I just condition these seats, so they're probably that's probably why. But not that it's bad, but you just you still have those things, you know. It, it doesn't feel like a seven series, like I'd imagine a low mileage seven series would probably feel really crazy. It doesn't feel bad, it's not overly loud, but it's just it's there, you know. Like they're just a little creaky, you know, some of the stuff. And I think the convertible makes it a lot more noticeable because a lot of the convertible mechanics kind of move around the windows move around in the track these are really tight but it's not perfect it's not like a coupe you know so I, these convertible tops are really goofy to get down they're such a pain in the ass just 90s bmw convertible stuff you know um but like this is it's not a fast car it's not like a, you know whatever you know we know e30 i mean you, you punch it and it moves but it doesn't you know doesn't blow the doors off or anything it's not anything crazy or super impressive but it feels good uh, like this car just pulls strong no hesitations no hiccups nothing at all it pulls like a perfectly good m20 um and you know you hate to say it again people might be mad at me for saying this given what i do to my own cars but these things are the ultimate driving machines off the factory floor you don't need coilovers you don't need any suspension work that's all a myth if you're drifting racing whatever maybe but a car to enjoy on the street man stock suspension i think is where it's at that might just be me getting a little bit older but you like i to me you just can't beat a car that's stock ride height you don't have to worry about being too low i mean this car picks up pretty good it's, it's a very healthy engine um but yeah, I mean, it's just, it feels like how it was designed to feel, you know? And I think that that really means something. And I think that it's hard to beat. And it's it's very impressive how well put together these cars drive, given, you know, how old it is and stuff. It's, it's really cool. But I don't know if people might agree, disagree with that. But original seems to be where it's at. And of course, I'll still modify cars. I still love my modified cars. But you can't beat something like this and let me tell you this car is 10 times better once you drop that top with the wind noise would be atrocious but just know that i've been driving this thing enjoying it with the top down 
and that's the way it's, it should be, you know? This is the perfect summer cruiser. I've always loved how E30 verts look. I think it's a very good looking convertible. People always are coop over anything else, but I honestly love the convertibles. I think the E30, E36, even E46, all very good looking convertibles, but let's not get off topic here anyway. Um, yeah, this is an amazing car. I'm glad I got to sh was able to share it with you guys because I think it's very special and you don't come across stuff like this often. So uh, I think that's all we need to do there. This is gonna be one of those crazy test drives. You know, it's, it's a stock car. It drives like you'd expect a stock car to drive. So hope you guys enjoyed checking out this absolute survivor masterpiece of an E30. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.